Okay. Ugh. That's nice. I got an Asahi now. I don't know why I'm updating the LP. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm drinking. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm drinking booze. But, you know, if you're into it, I like Asahi Super Dries. I also like most Asahi, the most Japanese beers, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I haven't really had a bad one. But then, I've only had about five different types of, like, Japanese beers. A nice frozen cute. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Oh, that was worth trying. So yeah, let's see what our actual thing is, because I'm starting to think that this is going to be a frustrating LP for, like, people who know what the idea is. Oh yeah, we'll go, we'll go and talk to her and she'll give us something to do. Um, that looks broken up there. Uh, where was she again? Is that just back at the Kamikis? The Kamikis. Obtain the feed bag of meat. Out of this pot in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's actually check the map because I don't know where I'm going. See, I think we went the wrong way. Let's go back. No air dashing as of yet. It's sad that we probably won't ever see a second Akami game. This is where everyone's like, dumbass, there was already two Akami games, and I'm like, what? <laughs> nah, it's just, you know what I mean? It's like, not, not with Clover, the way they were. It's like, we won't ever see another God Hand. Or probably won't, just, probably just won't ever see God Hand. <laughs> is God Hand on Steam? I want to play God Hand, but I don't have a gaming PC, so... Already. Huh? Oh. You tell me one thing in the journal. Oh. Then you turn me around without telling me. Oh, I made it pretty. my fun away. You really need to see everything. Fine, I'll do everything. The ghost. Probably been avoiding this place because of all the ghosts. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so, uh, 2020, am I right? <laughs> what a shit year. You know, I went in the, at the end of uh, 2019 going, 2020, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff because I need to get a lot of stuff done. I, like, move around a lot because of my job. And I'm pretty sick of China. I've been in China a long time, and I thought, it's time for me to go. I've been here too long. And I, I've been wanting to move for a while, to be honest. It's been a few years. Um, and I was like, right, I'll save up some money, uh, and I'll start looking for a good job in another part of Asia. Not really sure where, we'll just see what goes on, and I'll save up for my master's degree, and I'll make some decent savings, and I'll be able to support myself somehow. Um, during that period of time, while I'm also working, you know, and like part-time in my evenings and weekends doing my master's degree. And, uh, yeah, that fucked up. <laughs> I 
Let's just say that, like, that didn't go well, did it? Oh, was I was I probably didn't check this thing out. Um, oh, I'll go restore this patch here, because I think that's why it was complaining. I hadn't restored everything. I was trying, man, I was trying. Oh, rude. Yeah, so it's not been a good year, has it, for anybody? But it's like, typically the year where I, like, and everyone says it's alright, I, I get my shit together, I'll sort everything out. I've been doing that for a while now, 2018, 2019, just basically sorting my life out, getting everything, like, basically restoring it from the shit it was, um, and just getting myself back on my feet and relying only on myself, because I found relying on others to be basically suicide. And I, yeah, oh, we've had that. So we did that. What, what more do you want from me? What do you want from me? While I did that. Oh, you want me to examine. Then go back and talk to the Sakuyas. Okay, yeah, so that's the, the forest. You actually want me to go in, because it seems like, oh, uh, it wants me to go in. Because it's like, oh, uh, how am I supposed to do Oh, uh, do I rejuvenate the bridge? I rejuvenate the bridge. You know when it just gives you too much to do and you're like, oh. Okay, I did that poorly. Okay, I'm not supposed to do that. And then you get sad, look. There's a boat here. Oh, I'm confused. Maybe I'll go to the other thing first. Yeah, and I've been trying to like sort my life out and it's come at the worst time, this whole thing. I was trying to like, uh, sort out my fucked up life. And I kind of got most of that done, and I've made decent savings, and I've moved forwards. But there is a great degree of me, like, ooh, moon cave. Great degree of stuff that I need to change. And I haven't had a chance to earn enough money, because the first thing fucking Chinese companies do when there's a big thing is go, Oh, well, because of the chaos... We're not offering refunds to our, to the people who bought stuff from us over this year, but we're also not paying our staff. Oh, what a shame we have to close down and run away with everyone's money. So it's not a great time for anyone. Mm. These rounds are way too big for the new cave, I remember. It's massive. I thought someone already told us that, like, the Orochi dude got out. Or is it because we saw that he got out? Has anyone told Amaterasu that's what happened? Well, let's go and show them. They won't be happy. I think he'll rejuvenate here. I would just look dank. Ouch. What the buck? There's some kind of barrier here. Never seen one so powerful. We'd be better off staying away from this thing. Okay. So... What? Go back. Cool. Cool and the gang. Yeah, so it's not been a great time, has it, for anybody, really, at the moment. So now I'm stuck indoors playing video games, and I have been for the past four months, and it's kind of getting dumb. The latest thing with me and work is I changed job, they offered me a certain salary, and then they tried to half that salary, 
to the point, and if they halved the salary, it basically meant I could not afford to live. And I was like, okay, you clearly aren't taking this seriously, I'll find another job. And they're like, no, 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 you, you, no we need you. And it's like, well, you're not fucking acting like it, right? So I was just kind of like, okay, you, you're not taking me seriously, so I'm just going to go somewhere else. So they'll literally pay me less than anybody else in the company. And I was just like, wow, no, fuck off. Because they were asking me to come in and work for free as well, which was just like, wow. Can I do this? Is this okay? Is it going to kill me? It's going to kill me, isn't it? It's going to kill me, isn't it? It's killing me. I'm dead now. I'm dead. No! Now I have no health. That was stupid. What do you want from me? It's going, you gotta go down here. It's like, okay. I have to fill out the boat? What? Oh, I fix the boat? Like, I just draw on the boat. No? They bomb the boat? They slash the boat? Oh. Well, that's nice. Uh, this waterway. Used the ferry a long time ago. Yeah, so I've seen it. Like, oh, is it, what about this sign? Will you tell me what the hell you want from me? Ever since the water level dropped. Well, Annie. Oh, I had to read this sign. Oh, talk about, like, persnickety. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go back to Kamiki's. I want to talk to the lady whose tree has grown. See how we're going with life and the next objective. I guess I can buy something from the dojo. Let's just have a spy. Yeah, so, like, my plan was actually to move to another nation in Asia. I'm not sure which one yet. And, uh, it's. it's oh, okay, I'll buy anything else. Uh, and it's like, it's a shame, because I really, really wanted to, like, move on. And like I said, my current place is not taking me seriously. I signed a contract for a certain deal, and they're like, oh, we don't really want to pay you that now. And then just started personally attacking me, essentially saying, I don't think you're very good, and all of this shit. And it's like, it's not really like up for debate, though, is it? It's like, you pay me this much, and they're like, well, we don't think you're valued at that much because you're bad at your job. And I'm like, wow, okay. I'm not, by the way, <laughs> like, I'm actually pretty fucking, I, like, the only thing is I'm not really loud, and I'm like, so basically because I don't scream at the kids and act like a fucking clown because I'm not a narcissist and beg for attention the whole time, I'm allegedly bad at my job, even though the kids like me, the parents like me, I don't get complaints, I have great fundamentals, I do all my paperwork, all the kids get good results, but I'm not loud, so they're basically like, fuck you, cut your salary, right? And I was just like, okay, yeah, no. And they're like, but, and it's like, if you're not aware of the situation, in China at the moment, village, that's thing that, sorry, shut up. What was going on? Well, we're bringing about life to the world, they're probably quite happy. Um... Vengeance slip. Oh, okay. Oh, it's temporary increases. Oh. Yeah, so it's a little bit um, bad at the moment. Uh, and, like, literally, if you're not aware, China closes the borders to foreigners recently, which means I can leave but I can't return and nobody else can get in. And a lot of foreigners during this epidemic went, fuck this, I'm going home, which is probably the right response. And um, everyone who left essentially got 
abandoned by the people they worked for. Just fucking nuts, isn't it? They just went, well, you can't come back anytime soon. Okay, you're valueless to us then. We're not going to try and keep you on our roster. We're just going to fire you. So everyone who went home... Oh, okay, so I have to go bloom the tree. Yeah, um... So, like, I'm replacing one person or two people, actually, because they went home to the US and the UK because, of course they did, when they had the chance, and then, uh, while well, it was cheap, and they were like, oh, okay, now there's a massive epidemic, I don't want to come back. Also, you're not allowed to come back, even if you're, like, a legal resident permit and everything in China at the moment. They're just like, oh, you've got the wrong skin color, get out. Because apparently the Chinese just get away with that kind of racism and nobody ever checks them, so... <laughs> like, um, just, no, skin color, not Chinese, fuck you. And it's just like, people can't get in and they're just like... All of the companies are just like, oh well, looks like you guys are not getting, uh, coming back. Uh, well, you're fired, and I'm replacing some of these people now, because I changed jobs during this, because my old job said we're not paying you anymore, because, uh, yeah, don't see the point, really, and that's because, you know, apparently online classes aren't real classes, so they thought they could just cut all of our salaries to zero. So it's great at the moment. The moment you tell the Chinese special circumstances, they go, oh, they throw the word unprecedented around a lot, and then they start committing human rights felonies and employment law incorrect, kind of like employment routine and stuff. So yeah, I've already once said to this person who like halved my salary, I'm not going to come and work for you at that salary length. I will just leave China. And they're like, no, 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 because they're like, they're aware that the moment I leave China, I can't come back and they've lost me forever and they don't have a replacement for me because there are no white British people in Asia right now, really, or in China right now. There's like, we've, like, there's about five, ten percent of the Brits that were in China are still here, and it's like, you know, they, they haven't got a leg to stand on, so I'm just sitting there going, I'm not coming to work until you actually pay me. If you don't want to pay me, because apparently I'm not valued, then I'll go somewhere where I am. And they're just like, oh, well, um, and it's like, I can just dictate the contract, and even if I can't, I can just work offline, uh, online from the comfort of my home because everyone's desperate right now until I find another job, which will be preferably outside of China at this rate. Because, um, yeah, it's kind of getting stupid over here and their tolerance for foreigners is getting more and more quote-unquote traditional, which means racist, where they think it's their right to stare at you, spit at you, throw shit at you, and take photographs of you whilst bullying and attacking you for being not the same skin colour as them. So that's nice. Lovely people. They've really come a long way since when I first knew them. Actually, they, I say that sarcastically, they were actually much nicer people in 2015 than they are now. Race haters got a race hate, I guess, because propaganda. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, I've been wanting to leave for a while. This seems like the golden opportunity, really, once the, like, situation globally improves for me to leave permanently and just say, yeah, I'm fucked, staying here. Because, um, you know, I don't want to be in a country where two provinces over, there's a fucking viral outbreak that threatens the livelihoods of most of humanity because they don't have control over however that happened. Cop bioweapon. Uh, but like, uh, it's just a bit like... The situation is that the foreigners that are here can dictate a salary and they're trying to take the piss, these people, and go, hey man, 
can you just work for less than we pay the janitor? And you're like, not really. And then they just start personally attacking you, saying, well, you're a shit teacher. And you're like, I'm pretty sure I'm not. That's offensive, and I don't want to work with a boss who's like, oh, well, we, we don't think you're valuable. It's like, okay, I'm not valuable, bye. Oh, no, 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 wait. And it's like, huh, I thought you said I wasn't valuable. <laughs> If I'm not valuable, I won't stay here, you know what I mean? Is this the tree I'm supposed to be going for? Oh. Oh, I went the wrong way. And it's like, cool man, whatever, but you know, when I read that kind of shit, my brain goes, if I'm not that valuable, why are you still trying to get me to work for your company? If you can find a replacement so easily, find a replacement. And it's like they can't and they know that. And they know I've got them over a barrel and they're like, no, 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 take this shit deal. And I'm like, no. They're asking me to come in and work 10 hour shifts for free and just pay me for teaching and then go, oh, I don't think we can find you teaching hours. Hello, it's secure. Yeah, I knew it. A little bit awesome. Looking fine. Fine. Why didn't she say something? can kick the bucket, wow. Uh, let's ask Mr. Orange what's going on. Where is Mr. Orange? I saw his house down here. Does he mark him on our map? It does not mark him on our map. Or I just can't see it because I'm stupid. Yeah, so it's just a case of like... I'm trying to like... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I can just really like say whatever I want, and if they, even if they don't give me it, I'm still a resident here because my residency permit is like weird in the sense that it's still valid until October, regardless now, and they don't have control over it because it's like just floating around, not registered to anybody. My work permit's registered with them, but it's like... I'm not too bad here. The Konohana Shuffle. I would never again. No, I shall not dwell on that. Perish gracefully as the keeper of the Konohana. Ohana shall blossom once more. Beautiful coat of fur you have. I'll call you Snowball. Aren't you worried about your husband's death? Um. I'm stealing from you. This is mine now. Watch me take your wealth. You're gonna die soon, apparently. I feel terrible. Oh, baked oranges. Thank you. came in and robbed this, these old people. Um, yeah, it's like they're trying to take the piss and whatever. So I'm thinking now's a better time than ever to just leave. Well, we didn't talk about the chickens, did we? Too busy getting pissy. They're quite fond of seeds. Some are different percentages. Uh, yeah, um, not really much else to say about that. I want to move, like, I've been looking at various places, but, like, at the moment, a lot of places are like, we're going to wait. Lady in Osaka I was speaking to said that. Uh, I'm going to wait until it's, like, over. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's fair. All the trees bloom, miracle. I thought I did all the trees. 
I must have missed one or two. I keep check on the uh, battery level because I don't want to fuck my laptop. Uh, yeah, I've been looking there, I've been looking at Vietnam. A lot of places in Vietnam need teachers as well. And this is the thing, right? Everyone cleared out to go home the moment there was a viral outbreak and that kind of helped the virus actually spread because everyone panicked and went home. Cool. I'll go talk to Orange Man now. Wow, oh, these kids. I don't like that kid. I told the orange people. They're gone. Missing something that should be there. I tried that last time when I first went through it. And it Weird thing to answer the prayers. Ah, oh. jeez, lady, literally moving the world for you and the sun. Just to dry your laundry. Thanks for the cherry picks. Aren't you worried about your husband though? It sounds like he was probably gonna die from some sort of dance. There's a lady I talked smack about last time. Maybe I have to go back to the tree now for the day-night cycle changes. I know I can just sit still and sleep and it will pass faster, but like... It's either going to be here up on the viewing platform, so... to go in there? Probably not. Yeah, so it's like a lot of people cleared out and probably won't come back to Asia now. And the hypocrisy of the Chinese specifically is that they think that that means, right, we can start like paying you shit. And it's like, well no, actually, now you have to pay me more <laughs> because otherwise I'll go somewhere else. They don't, I don't think they understand business or they're just really racist because they just seem to think that like, oh, well, foreigners have no value, so. It wouldn't surprise me considering the way events have been panning out lately if they just keep the borders closed to foreigners for a while in China because that tends to be their response to everything is, fuck the foreigners, it's clearly the foreigners' fault. And you're like, okay, that's a weird way to take something, okay. Uh, 